hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> My name is Mary Spender and welcome to today's video. I thought I would begin by showing you a little warm up exercise I've written and it is based around the traditional kind of unmusical exercises that most people are aware of. So like going one, two, three, four, 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 and back down, or one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, and like going across the strings, um, coming back down, doing it at different uh, BPMs. But as I said, they're kind of unmusical. They're not really relevant. You wouldn't be able to use it, you wouldn't be able to write with it. So I've written something kind of uh, a little bit more interesting, but it's still just a warm up. It's still just notes. And it goes something like this. <laughs> If having it down in this part of the neck is too much of a stretch, then I've also included the tap to start on the fifth fret. One little thing to add, you can make this as easy or as hard as you like just by uh, using a click, so using a metronome. And yeah, maybe you just start off slowly and work your way up. And to all the shredders out there, I'm sure this is easy for you, but uh, to all the beginners, just take it slowly. And it, it, might, it might hurt your hand a little bit, but just do a little bit each day and see how you get on. The PDF and the guitar tab file are up on my Patreon page. But otherwise, let's get into the show. Those guys are mad. It's so cold. It's so cold. I know they've got wetsuits on, but still. Oh my God. Insane, it's so cold. <laughs> it's cold enough just holding a camera. Question of the day. Scott asks, at this time next year, what's the biggest thing you want to have done, achieved, experienced in 2021? Uh, shall we just say that we all just need to keep going? <laughs> I, I just, it's so unknown. It's, it's the first year in many of our lives where we literally don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know when things are gonna open up, whether they're gonna close down again, whether there's gonna be another strain, like, uh, it's just better to, stay calm and stay home and I just I, I don't see myself traveling in 2021 I don't know about you guys but I just don't think it's gonna happen and I'm I'm not sure I would want to be showing it either when so many people I mean we just can't I just I just don't think it's a good idea to be like uh, showing that off when so many people just can't do that so I'm I'm happy just staying home staying in this area I mean got the beach um, yeah I just I just hope to still be doing what I'm doing what do you guys think what do you want to be doing I feel like it's a it's a new era in my life anyway where it's not just about the constant like hustle it's about crafting something and curating and being a little bit more specific with what I want to achieve, but all of it being manageable stuff. So not, I'm not relying on a booking agent getting me a huge tour. I'm not relying on having a record label to help me release stuff because I just don't need those people anymore. None of us need them. Um, so, I mean, it's all within our control. Whatever we want to achieve in 2021, within reason, can be achieved via the internet and by just staying safe and sound. So, 
don't know whether that's a complete cop out of an answer, but all I want, all I know is, well, I really want a van like that. <laughs> um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but those vans are so awesome. And I want to be making YouTube videos and I want to be making music. So if I can do that, upload as regularly as possible. And who knows, like I thought about it and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have at least probably about a hundred videos, a hundred new videos by this time next year. And I have no idea what they're going to be about. That's pretty thrilling. And then a hell of a lot of music to come. So there we go, music and videos. That's my focus. Now back to the studio for tip of the day. Go back to basics, practice the fundamentals. No one expects you to be able to play every single technique in every single genre. That will always be forgiven, but you will be expected to know the basics. This doesn't have to mean the basics of the guitar in general, although for beginners, that's exactly where you should start. But if you've been playing for longer, you could be more focused and draw your attention to the basics of a particular technique, whether in your right or your left hand, repertoire, theory, scales, warm-up exercises, arpeggios, transcription and improvisation. Go back to the beginning of all of it. It also serves as a confidence booster because you'll realise how far you've come. Last but not least, let me finish on reading your guitar story. Today's guitar story comes from Arga. Hello Mary, I'm Arga all the way from Indonesia. Just want to share about my dream guitar since I was a kid. This guitar was the guitar that made me want to play guitar. I remember the first time I saw the guitar in a video clip of a band called Superman is Deaf around 17 years ago on MTV. I really fell in love with it. Day by day collected the money to buy a bunch of magazines uh, that has topics about this brand so that I can see the guitar every night before I sleep. Years and years searching what the exact brand was, what the exact model, and I couldn't find it in any marketplace. I, I couldn't even find the picture of this guitar on Google, or so I thought. I, I thought it was just a custom built guitar, but I always dreamt that one day I could meet the band and see the guitar in person, but it never happened. Years of searching and finally I know what the brand is. It is actually Bernie guitars, but I still don't know the exact model. Until last year, early 2019, I accidentally found the picture of this guitar on Google Images. I traced where the pic came from and it came from a small pawn shop in Tokyo, Japan. I contacted the store and they said that it is in a limited, a limited edition model, only eight units worldwide. And guess what? After 17 years plus of searching, I finally got my dream guitar that makes me want to play the guitar until this day. I still cannot believe that I own this guitar. I really want to share the story of my dream guitar. I hope you enjoy it. Here is a picture of me when I was a kid with a random strat that I put a custom flame pattern sticker on versus me with my actual dream guitar. Best regards, Arga. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh yes. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my God, look at you. You're so cute. That's, I mean, that's gonna speak to a lot of people yes you finally found the dream guitar because okay firstly magazines i took every catalogue i possibly could in every guitar shop i ever visited um and would just look at images and to be honest the body shapes of uh fender uh p basses and then jazz basses were always the thing i actually cut out the most um just because i just thought they looked beautiful and I would like stick them on my like school diaries that we had to have. And every, uh, every other girl would like put something traditional and girly and there I was just with guitars all over mine. So I, I feel the same way when I'm like playing, you know, my collection now has obviously been built up over years and also it's my job, but just the way I still feel about looking, you know, at, all the classic bodies, looking at a 335 or looking at a Strat in catalogues, you just, oh man, 
That's very, very sweet. That's a very, very sweet story. And I'm so, so happy for you. And um, I can't believe there are only eight in the world. So to the members of Super Superman is Dead. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, thank you, Arga. And there will be another story tomorrow for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. You know, that thing. Yeah, you know how to do it. Um, I'm going to reveal my Patreon of the day by clicking this random number generator and using my, uh, my spreadsheet from my Patreon page. And here we go. 446. Okay, Francesco Bacelli, you are my patron of the day. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you tomorrow.